Hi everyone, Operator Starsky and uh, I remember that I had to make a Q&A video. So today finally we have a sunny weather in Kyiv, not so much yesterday. Weather sucks. And I think that it's a good idea to answer, for example, 10 questions in every video because I will have like more content to share with you guys. And the first question is, are thermobaric bombs as scary as they sound. Thing is that Russians mostly use uh, thermobaric rockets uh, fired by their uh, MLRS called TOS-1. And uh, their biggest disadvantage is that uh, the effective firing range for those rockets is about six kilometers. So it's not, not like that uh, they can uh, position themselves like 40 kilometers away from Kyiv and start shelling. What's up with Mariupol now? Is it overrun? No, it is not. Its uh, central part is still controlled by Ukrainian National Guards as well as armed forces and uh, suburban area is controlled by Russian forces that uh, have surrounded the city. And another question regarding my uniform. Why is it clean? Uh, I've talked about that in my previous video that have been deleted on YouTube, of course, because uh, Russia doesn't sleep. They use uh, their uh, fake accounts to massively report my channel. Uh, so the answer to this question is because we defend Kyiv, we defend basically our home, houses where we live and stuff. Uh, we have everything like hot water, good food, all kinds of supplies and uh, and that's basically the reason why I don't look dirty as a pig, because we uh, take showers really often, unlike Russian troops. No doubt he's an actor like his president. Uh, our president has been demo democratically uh, elected in 2019 and election of our president is the choice of majority of Ukrainians. I think that was a very fascist statement. Regarding Russian troops inside captured Ukraine cities towns, how easy would it be to set up an insurgency inside them? It's pretty easy and I must say that uh, a lot of uh, Ukrainian guerrillas are fighting Russians, disintegrating their supplies and killing Russian soldiers when least expected. Do you support the Nazi soldiers of the Azov? I don't like what I have seen a lot of bad Nazis in Ukraine. Uh, there's no good Nazis anywhere. They're all bad. But the thing is that this regiment is often confused with National Corps. And the National Corps is a political party in Ukraine and it's a totally different story. Uh, a lot of people don't understand that Azov is a military unit fighting for the National Guards and executing command uh, issued by uh, Ukrainian National Guard and of course our president. A lot of volunteers from Georgia, Chechnya, Azerbaijan and other least uh, Aryan countries are fighting in this uh, regiment. Of course, don't forget that uh, Russian propaganda influences uh, the perception of Azov. And the main reason why Russian propaganda is doing all this uh, is because they have lost hundreds of their troops attempting to take a city that have been protected by a single regiment of the National Guard. What is your exact position for your military unit? My exact position is a press officer. I started my military career in 2014 uh, as a policeman, then I got transferred to the National Guard of Ukraine as a soldier, then I got promoted as a sergeant of my platoon, then I was a company sergeant, and then somehow my command uh, found out that I had a higher education. Of course, I was hiding this fact from my command uh, because I wanted to remain with my guys, with my infantry battalion, but uh, they promoted me to a press officer. And this is my uh, position as of today. I'm a broke as student. How can I still help? Як може студент допомогти українському війську Україні та українському народу? Okay, so my cameraman has, uh, has just given me an advice and what you can do right now, there's a lot of Ukrainian 
uh, communities, for example, in such messengers as uh, Telegram or WhatsApp, and they are used to collect websites or uh, web resources used by Russian propaganda, fake videos and stuff, and you can simply copy-paste links from uh, those uh, fake uh, resources to those uh, messenger groups, and uh, we will get read all of them. Has Ukraine considered commander units to hit targets inside of Russia? Uh, you may remember that uh, interesting event, let's call it this way, in Belgrade, attack helicopter which attacked Russian arsenal as well as their fuel depot. As we call it in Ukraine, it was an unrecognized third party. I can tell you much about it. Hi from the Netherlands. Uh, hi Netherlands. Uh, so actually I was wondering if, if it would be at help if I come over there and join in with the fight for freedom. Thing is that as far as I know currently uh, International Legion only accepts uh, people with uh, combat background and of course there's a lot of problems accepting them because there's too many recruits. Uh, actually, we didn't expect that so many people from all around the globe would like to protect Ukraine. There are opportunities for you to join uh, some voluntary battalion or some uh, voluntary company, for example. I'm not really sure about the salary because in International Legion you receive a salary because it's a contract military service. As for other battalions, I cannot tell you much about it, but uh, I will learn and uh, check out for you. Please leave your uh, questions in comments uh, for this video and uh, thanks everyone for watching. Free Ukraine, free world. Operator Starsky, over and out.